Good afternoon, and thanks for tuning in for the CitySpan News update for Thursday, June 14th. I'm Chris Brown. We're coming to you from Council Chambers today, and City Council had a lot on their agenda at a workshop this morning. They got the last leg of their financial update. What we learned this morning, expenses for the city in 2012 are down compared to last year and the year before, thanks in part to a reduction in force and early retirement packages that were offered to city employees last year. Though City Manager Rochelle Smaltoni was quick to point out city employees did get a raise this year. Lost negotiations are underway. Chatham County officials are working on against the local option sales tax is what it is the city and uh, city council is concerned about just how much money the city is going to get this year the current proposal from the county roughly puts us down about 15.2 million dollars those negotiations are still ongoing alderman tony thomas was back after missing the last two meetings because he was in washington dc meeting with officials from the pentagon about keeping troop levels at fort stewart where they are pentagon officials said though federal budget cuts were going to mean that cuts were going to happen at bases across the country fort stewart would be pleased with the amount of cuts they had to face on the agenda at the council meeting today, the Asian Festival, two Juneteenth festivals, performances from both of those groups earlier today. Uh, a lot of fun expected later this month. Also on the agenda, the Coffee Bluff Marina. It should be finished by next summer, and it'll be the only municipal marina in town. Boaters are going to have a lot of fun out there. Fishermen can have a lot of fun out there. And Tony Thomas says he hopes he has a lot of fun out there, too playground on it. It, will, it. it has something for all ages, and for the active boater to the passive person that wants to stand on the bluff and just watch the sunset. This is all inclusive of what we're doing at the Coffee Bluff Marina, and it's just a, just a wonderful addition to our park system. That marina should be in place by next summer. Thomas, an avid boater himself, says he'll be out there the day it opens. He just hopes the fishing is good. Well, that's going to do it for this City Span News update. Keep checking back right here on SGTV for the latest news about the City of Savannah. You can also find it on our YouTube page, youtube.com slash City of Savannah. As always, Margaret and I will see you tonight at 7 o'clock for the latest news and information on the latest edition of City Span. Until then, have a great afternoon. Oh, I wasn't saying anything. Good afternoon and thanks for tuning in for the City Span News Update for Thursday, June 14th. I'm Chris Brown. Coming to you from Council Chambers today, City Council had a lot on their agenda today at a workshop this morning. They got the final leg of a financial update. What we learned this morning, expenses for the city this year are down thanks in large part to a reduction in force and early retirement packages offered to city employees last year. The city manager, Rochelle Smaltoni, was quick to point out that city employees did get raises earlier this year. Lost negotiations are underway. That's the local option sales tax. Now, the city council is concerned that they won't be getting as much money as expected from Chatham County this year. The current proposal on the table from the county puts us down roughly $15 million. Those negotiations, though, are still ongoing. Alderman Tony Thomas was back after missing two meetings, being in Washington, D.C., meeting with Pentagon officials about keeping troop levels at Fort Stewart. 
as right where they are and not facing any reductions. Though Pentagon officials said budget cuts federally were going to force them to make cuts across the board at bases really across the country. He said that Fort Stewart officials, though, would be pleased with the amount of cuts they would have to make. On council's agenda today, the Asian Festival, two Juneteenth festivals, both coming up later this month. Council got performances from those guys. Also, the Coffee Bluff Marina. It's the only municipal marina in the area. It will be once it's finished. It's slated to be done done by next summer, and Alderman Tony Thomas says he's ecstatic about these improvements on the south It will have a playground on it. It, will, it, it has something for all ages, and for the active boater to the passive person that wants to stand on the bluff and just watch the sunset. This is all inclusive of what we're doing at the Coffee Bluff Marina, Alderman Thomas and that's an just, a, just a wonderful addition to our park system. On that very first day, too. Hoping the fishing is good. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of the City Span News Update. For the latest, keep it tuned right here to SGTV or our YouTube page, youtube.com slash City of Savannah. That's where you'll find the latest news and information about the city. Also, you can go to our website, savannahga.gov. Margaret and I will see you tonight at 7 o'clock on the latest edition of City Span with more news and information. Until then, have a great afternoon. Got nothing but time. Is it four o'clock yet? Okay. I know. Uh, do you hear me? Really? <laughs> I'm a little out of I'm a little out of practice there, Wayne. Huh? It's not too bad. Good afternoon and thanks for tuning in for this City Span News update for Thursday, June 14th. I'm Chris Brown. We're coming to you from council chambers today, and city council had a lot on their agenda today at a workshop this morning. Council got a final leg of their financial update. What we learned this morning was that expenses for the city, well, they're down, thanks in part to a reduction in force that took place last year in early retirement packages that were handed out to city employees, though city manager Rochelle Smaltoni was quick to point out that city employees did get a raise this year. Lost local option sales tax negotiations are underway with Chatham County. City Council is concerned they won't be getting as much money. The city won't from Chatham County this year. The current proposal on the table from the county puts the city down about $15 million. That's a rough estimate, but those negotiations are still ongoing. Alderman Tony Thomas was back today, missed the last two meetings being in D.C., meeting with Pentagon officials about keeping troop levels at Fort Stewart where they are. Federal budget cuts are causing the Pentagon and the military as a whole to make cuts across the board, including cutting troops at bases. Pentagon officials told Alderman Thomas that though there would be cuts at Fort Stewart, they would be pleased with the amount of those cuts. On the agenda at the council meeting today, the Asian festivals coming up in a couple weeks, two Juneteenth festivals. There were performances in council today, also talking about the Coffee Bluff Marina. It'll be the only municipal marina in the area when it's done. It's supposed to be finished by next summer. Alderman Tony Thomas says he's excited about these improvements. On it the will have summer. a playground on it. It, will, it. it has something for all ages, and for the active boater to the passive person that wants to stand on the bluff and just watch the sunset. This is all inclusive of what we're doing at the Coffee Bluff Marina, and it's just a, just a wonderful addition to our park system. An avid boater himself, he says he'll be out there on the very first day it opens. He just hopes the fishing is good. Well, that's going to do it for this news update. Keep it tuned right here to SGTV for the latest about news in the city of Savannah. Also on our YouTube page, youtube.com slash city of Savannah. As always, Margaret and I will see you tonight at 7 o'clock with more news and information on the latest edition of City Span. Until then, have a great afternoon. Thanks, Wayne.